Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to I'm Organic Gardening. Today is May 18th and that's very important because our last frost date was May 15th. Now I want to plant my tomato plants because I love them and I've been growing them in my basement and throw lights and I want to get them out in my backyard garden. But what's very interesting is that this year has been crazy weather. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a background. We had three hail storms which we've never had early in this year. Uh, let's say in April and I also had uh, 90 degree days at least three or four of them and then it started cycling back and forth back and forth we went from 90 degrees days and then the next day was um, let's say 50 degrees outside so it's impossible now I'm wearing a jacket because last night it got cold once again and our last frost date is about May 15th give or take and I'm always planting later because our friendly tomato plants here are always loving the let's say night temperature is about 55 degrees and up and they're not going to do anything in the ground so I want to show you a video that was uh, early this morning and we got down uh, let's say yesterday was only a high of 62 and I wanted to plant these guys outside and I'm waiting now I'm going to wait until probably the end of May I'm not going to risk losing all these and I don't want you to lose them also too because you put a lot of effort into them and I know you love tomatoes just as much as I do and you love gardening just as much as I do but I'm just making this video on the side of caution to you I wish somebody came to me and say listen it's not so uh, let's say prevalent or necessary to get them in the ground as soon as possible they take time to acclimate and you should acclimate it from inside to outside but I'm talking from outside outside to even further because those temperatures are not going to do anything for you if they if the night temperatures stay below let's say 55 degrees at night it's not going to happen to you the uh, your tomato plants are going to sit there and they're going to suffer and they're not going to know what to do they love that night temperature and i've said it a few times already that's more important than your day temperature your day temperature should be above at least 65 or 70 during the day that's perfect they want Want to establish a great root system but this guy here is just was always in a let's say a warm climate that's what uh, tomato plants love to do and again just be cautious if your tomato plants are very large in your basement or grow room or uh, you see them outside from somebody selling them or something like that don't worry about it is the reason why you don't want to worry about it is because they will acclimate later on we want them to be so big but if you really have to plant them up because they are so big in your basement let's just say try a few but also have the ability to cover them keep that in mind for the next two or three weeks until let's say end of May and in that time you should just plant let's maybe 50% out there take that chance so now I'm going to show you a video from this morning and I hope you enjoy it but please do not be running out there and planting your tomato plants I feel like we're going to still get hailstorms if we're cycling up and down so much this guy isn't going to get protected by a hailstorm and I've had them and they were golf size hail balls and now all of a sudden coming down and this guy would not survive or even think I haven't even planted seeds in my garden yet because of the crazy weather we've had two weeks of solid rain and now this last week we've had no rain and cycling up and down temperatures so so again be cautious now if you're in zone 6b like I am and that's why I'm only talking about 6b here now that's a USDA zone 6b if you're seeing the same thing leave a comment go out there and educate the other people on my gardening channel share your advice with them also too and it's just that we should all work together we want a beautiful garden and we want something to produce well for us so friendly advice is always appreciated on my chat I also want to share with you what's going on with my garden now I usually have my cold weather crops in about maybe say two or three weeks ago but I'm glad I didn't because we got a hailstorm and they would just been demolished by it so and also 
I've noticed this year that also something very, very strange, and it's sitting here and I'm reminding myself to show you. I have a thistle plant that loves warm weather, and that's what we've had such warm weather. Now we're back to cold weather again. And this thing is enormous, I, and I left it there because I've been weeding my garden, and weeds have been coming out of this garden immensely, way ahead of time than normal. So I'm just being very cautious because of those weeds. I'll even show you my comfrey plants that are growing and they have taken off this year and they've ne they're even flowering they never have been so lush and ahead of schedule usually they don't do something until about maybe June to flower so now that's even crazy so all these things are factoring in my head and again I want to give you this free advice again it's free advice you can choose to be cautious with it or you can just throw it in the garbage can that's what free advice is about but thank you for listening and I want to show you uh, the video of the thistle and also um, the comfrey plants and then I'm going to show you the video from this morning when I came out here how cold it was here I have my thistle plant that's about two feet tall this is insane I've never seen it uh, around May 18th these get this big I usually have a few popping up but it's just the weather this year has created an environment for this to grow extremely well and I also have another group over here the other group of thistles that I'm talking about, I'm going to dig these out by hand. Uh, in this particular case, I want to dig the root off about at least five inches deep in the soil so they don't come back. But this, uh, since we had a mild winter, some seeds blew in and started creating its own environment. I had also lots of leaves down on the ground and that probably, uh, let's say, acclimated them to stay in place and grow. Here's my amazing row of comfrey plants. There's about a dozen here or more. And these are up very early this year. And you can see by the flowering of them. And I'll show you close up. What's nice about this, they are flowering and feeding the uh, bumblebees very nicely and other bees. But again, they should not be, let's say, uh, working this hard or this large this time of the year. So here we are at 5.30 in the morning, May 18th, and the temperature, it says, uh, my house thermometer outside is about 34 degrees, but you can see here that little bit of frost or cold. Now, I don't think that's too much of a frost that's uh, going to hurt anything, but I'm planting later and later my tomato plants out. I won't plant them until the end of May, somewhere uh, maybe from the 25th on or even later, because this this always happens in my area. I'm USDA zone 6B and it's getting more and more crazier every year. I haven't planted anything in my garden yet. Now I'll show you later on in the video what I'm doing so far in my garden and what things are growing. But seasons are getting crazier and crazier, meaning weather-wise. So be very cautious because all that effort you put into growing your tomato plants, peppers, and eggplants, which you shouldn't even put out until maybe uh, end of May, uh, not even May, June, maybe June or beginning of July lately in this area. So I'm just warning you because I know you spend a lot of effort and enjoy gardening like I do. But this is how crazy this is in this area year after year. And again, this is May 18th and this is supposedly our last frost date, but don't be fooled by it. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment and give advice that you think is necessary for other people to understand planting a little bit too early or exactly in the frost state is just a guideline. So share with them your experiences and leave a comment. Thank you. Give it a good thumbs up and I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy your day. Happy gardening.